What's up my YouTube friends? Johnny V out here, Biloxi, Mississippi. Deep in the deep in the woods of Biloxi, Mississippi. Look at that tree. Oh my god. Out here in the area called Wool Market. Right there is the Wool Market Vocational School. I'm around um exit 41 off the Interstate 10 if you keep in track at home. Been a little bit of cloudy day out here. That's Wool Market Road. And right now I'm on John Lee Road. Give y'all a little taste of what country Biloxi living's like. I know I showed a lot of the city. Where are we going? I don't know. I'm trying to look at the map on my car all at the same time. Trying to see where we're going. Kind of winding, hilly roads. Fifty-nine point seven acres for for sale over there. If you're interested, I think we're going like northwest right now. Who knows where this road leads to? I'm just kind of driving aimlessly, trying to get a little video. Maybe I'll see something interesting. Maybe I won't. Maybe it'll be very boring. I mean, if you need like a sleep aid to go to sleep at night, just listen to me talk and I'll probably put you to sleep. The speed limit is 30, which I find that a little strange out here because there's no cars out here. No homes, really. Just the street, trees, and me. Oh, we're coming up on a road up here. Let's see what this road is. There's a stop sign. It's old Wool Market Road. Okay, so current Wool Market Road was back there. And we are here. Okay. Oh, that, to the left says no outlet, so I better turn to the right. I don't need to go. To, I don't need to be going down any dead end streets. Well, that'll be really, really boring if I have to turn around. Another stop sign. Great. On John Lee Road again. What the hell? I thought I was just on John Lee Road. Did I make a big circle? Did I make a big circle out here? I got some nice homes. Some nice uh, two car garages with a carport on top of that. Some big open fields. Nice. I don't like the pine trees so much. I mean, the pine trees look good. I think the pine trees look good, but guess what? When a hurricane comes, they snap real easy. I'd rather some big, strong oak trees. Oh, got a nice little lake right there. A little pond, I guess. It's not really a lake. So I'd call it a pond. Definitely hilly out here. My car is letting me know. My car slowed down to 35 miles an hour. from 
city life to country life real quick. Oh, it says it's curvy the next two and a half miles. Right? Maybe it'd be good for like a motorcycle practice. This is the tail of the dragons. My friend Jason, 504 Road Trips, did the tail of the dragons in his car up around Tennessee, Tennessee area. Tennessee, Georgia, I think. North Carolina. I think it's in like North Carolina mostly. A lot of people lose their lives on that street. They try to go too fast. And their motorcycles and their little Mazda Miatas. Oh, that's pretty. Take a screen. Take a. Take a. Uh, maybe, that'll, maybe, maybe that'll be my thumbnail. Country roads take me home. I think this road dead ends into Highway 67, which is a major, major highway that'll bring it to Biloxi and if you go south and other, other parts if you go north. I don't know where it goes if you go north. But I think we're about ready to, we got a nice little trail over there, you can walk. Up here is the North Woolmarket Elementary Middle School. So this is the North North Wool Market Elementary Middle School. That's a mouthful. And something going on there. Maybe they have some kind of summer camp or something. I don't know. But we're in the middle of the summer right now. Middle of July. It's about 80 degrees. It's been raining off and on all day. And otherwise it'd be about 90 degrees. Wool Market Work Center, and over here is a Wool Market Community Center. Wool Market Community Complex. That looks nice. They got a little park in there. They got a little park and a tennis court. Play area for the kids. I mean, what more could you want? Up here is a huge stop sign. I think they don't. I don't think they want you to miss that stop sign. Cause the cars are doing about 55, 65, maybe 70 even on this road here. All right, now we're on Highway 67. Pretty sure we're going southbound. Of course, it's a Dollar Tree, Dollar General. All right, while we're doing nothing, make sure you smash that thumbs up button for me. Subscribe if you haven't, all that good stuff. Over here to the left is Diaberville High School. Huh. We're not even in Diaberville, right? We're in the middle of nowhere. But over there, supposedly, is Diaberville High School. Down that road, I guess. Huh. That's nice to know. So I think about five minutes we'll be in Diaberville though. A major uh, shopping area and they got a big like Walmart and they got everything there man. They got a Walmart, they got everything. 
They got a Five Guys. They got a C Spire. They got a sport clip to you get your hair cut. Just about every service you possibly need. It's going to be the closest thing to Biloxi. The closest big service is in Biloxi. Iberville was annexed from Biloxi I don't know how many years ago but now it's the city of the Iberville pretty sure it used to be part of Biloxi but I guess they wanted to go on their own and spun off into the city of the Iberville sign here says Biloxi Corp Limit so I guess we're in Biloxi now I didn't know we left Biloxi pretty nice paved smooth highway I think the speed limit is 60 or 65 might be 70 but I don't know because I haven't seen a sign I'm doing it's about 65, 70. I'm getting past pretty fast. I'm getting lapped. Gas is about 270 a gallon. Pretty pricey out here. Pricey for Mississippi, I say. We're coming up on the on the big uh, intersection, uh, Interstate 110 and Interstate 10. The big intersection is where the uh, all the shopping conglomerate is. see the Beau Rivage so we can't be too far from the beach the Beau Rivage is on the beach up there straight ahead center center camera center center shot I guess it's a couple of miles three or four miles maybe maybe more because we got to go over the back bay and everything maybe five miles pretty good visibility even though it's cloudy or rainy day so we're headed south on Highway 67 and 15, and the speed limit is 55, and I'm doing almost 70. Great. Alright, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. It helps the algorithm and all that stuff. Let me know if there's something to see out here. I don't know what y'all want to see. 
I need to take a little tiki ride on a boat. It looks like fun. My friend uh, Jeff did it with uh, Mississippi Wildlife. Looks like a fun time, but it doesn't look like a whole lot of fun to go alone. Got no family or friends here. Alright, so we're coming up on the intersection of that and that. Sangani Boulevard, Promenade. It's called the Promenade. That's right, it's called the Promenade. It's not called the Conglomerate. It's called the, the Promenade de Diaberville. They got Best Buy, they even got a Waffle House, they got a hotel or two. I mean, they got it all here. Let's see what else they got. Ruby Tuesday, a Wendy's, a Lowe's, a Walmart, of course. They even got a shoe station. I think they got a movie theater, too, somewhere. Not sure where. All right, it's, after this, it's pretty much everybody's seen this already. This will be Interstate 110 South to the beach. All right, it's Johnny V from Biloxi, from Diaberville, actually. Johnny V from Diaberville, heading towards Biloxi. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. Subscribe. Hit that thumbs up button, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace. Hasta la próxima.